Hey guys, uh, as you can see, I shaved. Getting ready for uh, Halloween. Um, I'll go back, you know, I always do. But I just wanted to kind of put up this uh, disclaimer. Uh, you might hear some loud noises in the background of this uh, first part. I was going to say in this series. But I think it might just be in this one. Uh, we're having some construction done, both on the road and actually on our house. So, you know, we're getting stuff done. So, you might hear stuff in the background. Just wanted to uh, get that little heads up, up. What? That little heads up, up. You know what? You, you get the point. There's going to be noise in the background, so... Uh, if you don't like that, I guess just don't watch the video or bear with it. That's all I can really say because I can't really, like, control what you do. So I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, welcome to the Pokemon uh, Fire Red Nuzlocke. Just regular Nuzlocke. Um, so I wanted to, you know, do these again too. As much as I love uh, randomizers, I still wanted to uh, try to do a regular one and actually win for once and not have to use cheats because I get agitated because I'm stuck in one place where I forget to get a H in. <sighs> Had a something in front of my thing. So, I've been watching Dragon Ball a bunch lately, so I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm choosing the turtle and naming him Roshi. Okay. We get it. I'm going to save real quick and be right back. Okay, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So, as I said, we're choosing uh, Squirtle. After Master Roshi, uh, he trained Goku in the original Dragon Ball series. Uh, he kind of was relevant in Dragon Ball Z, sort of, not really. And he kind of became relevant again in Dragon Ball Super. So we got Master Roshi. Okay. I've seen Death Battle. Squirtle wins. Okay, well, that's kind of unfortunate. My Roshi's a female. My Master Roshi is a... Uh, a male. Okay. That was a good hit, Squirtle. And while he's only good for the first gym, I think I can find a good grass type for Misty. Okay, Pidgeys, we can get rid of those pretty easily, I hope we get another RJ, yeah, I just finished recording uh, Pokemon Silver Randomizer, and it, I'm ending it again, uh, we failed right before Bugsy, and how we failed was when I was grinding for, uh, for the gym, I, I was using RJ, and I lost Randy, our, uh, Cedra, and so we didn't have a Pokemon that could use water-type attacks, so I was kind of just stuck there, so it was pretty annoying, but I still got my potion, and then I'll talk to that guy up there and get a second potion. So when we fight Ashton again, uh, we won't be completely outdone. Yeah, I'll either want Randy or uh, Pikachu from Viridian Forest, not gonna lie. Okay. We get Bird. That's cool. Another Bubble. And Pokeball Go. 
I have no problem with having a bird. It's OG bird. Too bad we couldn't get a swallow, but they don't belong in Kanto. Okay. Give me that free potion. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're having some construction done. I mean, we've been having construction done for a while. But, you know, we're having it done again. Okay, let's buy some Pokeballs. I just spent all our, all my money on Pokeballs. I should have bought an antidote and some potions. I mean, I already have two potions, but that's like nowhere near enough. Okay. Show me this dumb catching tutorial, even though everybody knows how to catch Pokemon. That's the thing I liked about Pokemon Silver. Uh, well, Gold and Silver and Crystal. Actually, I don't know about Crystal, but I do know in Gold and uh, Silver, you could, um... Where was I going with this? Oh, you could skip the tutorial. That's dupes. Okay. Okay, we get a Rattata. Don't really care. And Gizmo's in the background barking. Don't like that. Okay, that was a crit. You know, Rattata, Rattata can be power, I guess. Uh, I'll name him Gizmo. Because even though my... Even though Gizmo's a dog, I always call him a rat, because he'll steal your food like a rat. So, Gizmo, you've been reborn as a rat in this series. Okay. Okay, what's here? I got an antidote. Okay, what's our encounter? We get RJ like I wanted. I'm happy. Ash cut. A Caterpie with one Pokeball. I wish I could just do that, but I don't trust it. I, I see, I weakened it. He didn't even weak his Caterpie. I think it's been a while since I've uh, watched it. Oh, we got RJ. I'm actually going to train him up because he's going to uh, be our. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur killer. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's probably going to die way before we get to the champion. But I would hope he would survive. Uh, he's a good Pokemon. Butterfree is. And you don't have any super effective moves. But that attack is way higher. I'll send out bird. Uh oh. I don't want to use a potion, but I have to. Okay. I need to stop missing. Oh, that was a misclick. Okay, so we already have our first death because of a mix click. That's cool. Already starting our death box in episode one. That's a good sign. Uh, let's name you death. Okay, there we go, death box. Change you to... Not seafloor, but I do like that. Okay. Snow. I do like snow. But we want sky, because this is supposed to be the death box. Bird, I'm sorry, that was my move. And you know, Gizmo is going to be death fodder. I should have named him Fake Gizmo, to be honest, because he ain't the real deal. The real deal Gizmo is a uh, Hound Doom. No, because he's pure power. 
Ooh, an item. Run away. Yeah. So I am excited to be doing this. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll actually try to use Gizmo, but... I meant to click bag. Okay, I'll use a potion. Wait, do I have... Did I... Get a glitch? Because I swear to God... That it said I had three potions again. That was weird. Okay. Caterpie. So we want RJ to be... High level, but we also want Roshi to be, you know, use, um, what'd you use, string shot? Use that all you like. Roshi is a slow boy already. Dang it. And I don't have another potion. I mean, antidote. Okay, so, all right. I was actually about to open my bag, but Gizmo <laughs> accidentally killed him again. <sighs> okay, this is getting annoying. Let's see how much a bubble does. Okay, I'm going to use bubble, because that does way more. I'm going to bag, use a potion. Okay, this is actually starting to get pretty dangerous. Okay, level eight. A weedle. Man, I need full restores, even though they don't sell them until the end of the game when you really actually need them. I, for some reason, need them now. Because I'm dying. Oh no, please don't tell me Roshi's gonna die. I'm pretty sure that's his last Pokemon. It's not. But, luckily, it's... Are you kidding me? I meant, I thought I clicked switch out. So, this is going to take a while because it keeps on using Harden. So, I'm, I'm going to make a video today because, well, I'm going to make a part of the video and then continue the part later in, like, post-editing because I'm going to show you what I'm running to uh, be for Halloween in that video. Please survive, please survive. Oh dear God. Dear God. One, two, three, four. Dang it! You know what? I've seen like in verses, they have a revive system that you can. Revive one Pokemon. Other Let's Plays. I'm reviving Roshi. Because. I hate that I have to use it so early. But I am not losing Roshi. He, he is the only reason we'll be able to survive. This Nuzlocke. You know what? I may do that with my. Uh, Randomizer Silver. Because I don't. Want to keep on. Having to do this. Okay, all I can sell are Pokeballs. Okay, let's see. I don't want 16. I'll sell you two of my Pokeballs. I'll buy a potion and an antidote. And thing is, I still have to grind.
you know, I used to, like, scoff, mostly because I would always choose Charmander, a.k.a. Zippo. If I went up here, I wouldn't have had to waste my revive. Okay. I need to get stronger. I almost, for some reason, went out to Pokeballs. Okay, Roshi. You can handle this. Okay, good work. Okay. Caterpie, Caterpie. My Caterpie is much stronger than yours. But I'm using Roshi because Roshi is gonna Kamehameha you. That's probably actually what Hydro Cannon is, is the Kamehameha. So he actually won't, but you know what? Whatever. Okay. So now we have his second form, Metapod. And at level 10, we get, um, you know, Butterfree. Okay. Well, this one's only going to have Harden, so I might as well just tackle it. Going to be a bit of a long episode, even though having it on, uh, you know, speed up. Okay. I hope you guys can't hear my mush and batten. My mush and... My button mashing is what I meant to say. Because I am, without a doubt... Smashing buttons. So, I'm actually going to semi in this part here. Basically, I'm going to uh, take a break. So, after I beat this Caterpie, I'm going to save and then go get my food because you guys saw the message. I got food and I'm a hungry boy. So, I'm going to eat me some food. Dear God, another Metapod. But it'll be a good experience to just get him alone. But do I even I have I have a decent amount of PP left, so I should be able to take him out. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna say right here real quick. Wait, I almost, okay, it's saved. So on this right here, but not really, because I'm going to be coming back. I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I am back from eating, and uh, yeah, so that means we are going to get back into the grind. Okay, I hope I get a critical, because, okay, asking you shall receive, like, literally, I asked, well, I was more like, I wish I can get a critical, and then it was like, oh, I hear you, my boy, <clears throat> okay, and I didn't get poisoned, that is, why did I get poisoned so easily last time, I've taken four, Poison stings now, and this is going to be the poison one, isn't it? Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Okay. Tackle. Tackle. Trying to slow me down. I'm pretty sure you already outsped me, because I'm just a cocoon. And we actually have an encounter. Another encounter. I actually forgot about it. Um, we have a uh, encounter right before we face the rival, Ashton. We have uh, either a Mankey or a Nidorina. Withdraw is a good move.
Okay. And there aren't any more bug type trainers, unfortunately. And I and I want Butterfree before I face our rival. I'm gonna probably overtrain Master Roshi. Mostly because I don't want him to die. Nor do I want RJ to die, but RJ is kind of it's not necessarily a bad mon, but he's not a mon that you're gonna use for the entire game. He's just a bug type. Really, RJ? You missed? Kind of surprised you missed that. Tackle. No, you are a uh, tanky boy. You did quite a few tail whips and then a stab tackle. Didn't kill you. Hi, you missed. And you didn't poison. Okay. You're a higher level, so that's going to be good for experience. Okay. Two string shots in a row. I'm actually have no problem with that. Three in a row. I'm okay with it as long as you don't get a poison. Okay, you just got a poison. I don't like poison. Okay. Let's use an antidote. Go get healed, because I ain't wasting my antidotes, uh, and my potions outside of battle. Huh? What am I even saying? I'm, like, shutting off my brain for a, a, a moment when I talk, and then I forget. Okay, RJ. Okay, I got another one of you. Don't have a problem with string shot. Just don't poison me first. Don't miss tackles, RJ. Okay, good. You didn't get poisoned. I was about to yell in your face. And you can't poison us. So you're basically just a EXP box for me. Don't like that you got that crit, though. You don't get crits. You're not supposed to, anyways. <clears throat> Only RJ is allowed to get crits. And not get poisoned after so many hits like he usually would. I think, actually, I think this will disperse it. But it's getting annoying waiting for RJ to kill these fools. Because he's, like, so weak. Okay. Okay, you didn't poison me. That's good. Even though you... Yeah, even though you did that, I still have speed. Okay. Now we get... RJ's final form. Okay. And you learned confusion, so now we're going to do our rival battle. Then we're going to try to do the gym battle. And then we'll end the first part there. Okay. Da 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 da. Oh, and our encounter is a mankey. Okay, and it didn't kill. So almost threw the Tuggy TV at him. No, we want a Pokeball. Primeape is kind of powerful. Low kick. Okay. Just stay in the ball. Mankey, just stay in the ball. Dear God. I hate you, Mankey. Okay. No, he's always angry. And since I'm basically doing the entire team after Dragon Ball characters, I'm obviously going to name him Vegeta. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. 
I'm just uh, doing a spell check. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Vegeta. And my internet is crap, so I'm going to have to turn off my internet so my data will kick in. Instant. Okay, yeah, that's how you spell Vegeta. Why was it taking so freaking long? Okay. I want, oh, that's right, I have to heal now because Vegeta messed up RJ pretty bad. I would honestly say that Mew is probably Goku. Mew choose Frieza. Now, I don't know who would be the androids or who would be Beerus and stuff like that, but. Aha, and you probably want for. Oh, you want for Sane Attack. Well, eat this stab. Eat this stab bubble. Actually, I'm gonna withdraw. Times two. Oh, you got a crit? That's not cool. Have a potion, Roshi. Roshi is going to carry us through. Bulbasaur. Send in Vegeta so he can get a little bit of EXP, but then switch out back into RJ and one confusion. Bop. So it's two confusions. But still, you get you get bodied. Okay. Okay, so we beat him, so we're gonna go heal up and then go to Pewter City. Also, I have to kind of apologize because for some reason, I'm gonna fix it in editing, but I was watching the uh, silver uh, randomizer nuzlocke. And for some reason, the uh, screen was flipped on upside down. And so, you know, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do the hardens, but this will be good for Vegeta. If it will hurry up. Okay, finally got a critical hit. Oh six. Low kick. Okay. Yeah, if Vegeta even survives, he'll be uh he will be part of the team as a primate because they're actually pretty good. I mean, they can get bodied. Don't get me wrong. That's right, you're a bug type. Bug poison. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's heal. Okay. And we're just gonna barge into the gym. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Okay, fight me so I can... Get experience on Vegeta. Yowch. No! Dang it. I thought he would survive that. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I let him... I thought he would survive that and then I was gonna switch on to Roshi, but obviously, uh... Geodude had to go and get a, uh... You know, super effective, well not super effective, a critical hit, that's what I meant. Okay. So now I have to put Vegeta in the death box. I mean, he did dynamic, so it's not like it's his first time dying. But it is annoying. Okay.
Okay. Now let's fight Brock. Okay. Geo dude. Roshi will hit you with a critical bubble. Okay, level 13. Want to learn water gun? Yes. Let's get rid of Tail Whip. Because I actually do use withdraw sometimes. Kind of my first time, not gonna lie. I usually never use it. And I just oddied that uh, boy. Okay. Okay, thank you. And then we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then end the episode. Episode? Part? I guess it's more of a part. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so, we've gotten our first badge. Our team is looking okay. I mean, it's only two Pokemon. But it's not the worst Pokemon out there. So, you know, we're looking kind of okay. So, I'll see you guys in the next uh, part. Bye-bye.